Hi. Now in this question, we're told that a particle P moves in a straight line. And the displacement of P from a fixed point on the line is t to the power 4 minus 2t cubed plus 5 meters, where t is the time in seconds. Show that when t equals 1.5, that in part 1, P is at instantaneous rest. And in the second part, the acceleration of P is 9 meters per second per second. Okay, so if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, as usual, just give you a moment to pause the video and have a go. When you come back, you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, if I'm to work out that P is at an instantaneous rest when T equals 1.5, then because we've got the displacement here given as a function of time t, then what we've got to do to get v is to differentiate this with respect to t. So if I was to say let s represent that displacement, okay, which is t to the power 4 minus 2 t cubed plus 5, so therefore the velocity v, we'll say, is given by the rate of change of the displacement s with respect to time. So differentiating this with respect to time gives me 4t cubed, okay, and then for the second term here, minus 6t squared. Differentiating the constant here just goes to zero. So all I need to do now is just say that when t equals the 1.5 seconds here, then v would equal 4 times 1.5 all cubed, minus 6 times 1.5 all squared, and if you work this out, it comes to 0. So therefore, p is at instantaneous rest, okay? So we'll just put that in there just so that we can wind that problem up. Now we've got the second part, and in the second part, we're asked to show that when t equals 1.5, the acceleration of p is 9 meters per second per second. And to do this, you should be familiar with the fact that the acceleration, we'll define it as being a, the acceleration a is equal to the rate of change of velocity with respect to time, dv by dt. So therefore, that acceleration a is going to equal, well if we differentiate v with respect to time, then differentiating 4t cubed, is going to give us 12t squared, and then differentiating minus 6t squared is going to give me minus 12t. So all we need to do is just say again, when t equals 1.5, then therefore a equals 12 multiplied by 1.5 squared minus 12 times 1.5. Just substitute our t into there. And if you work this out, what comes out is 9 meters per second per second. Okay, agreeing with what we had to show.